Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the changes that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11 build 26120.3291, also known as the KV5050 and the dev and canary channels. These changes are available for Windows 11 version 24H2 and most of the changes are for Copilot Plus PCs because they are AI related improvements. Okay, let's dive into the changes for the latest preview of Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, Microsoft have been testing semantic indexing for search on Windows 11 for some time and now the feature also works in the start menu. This means that you can now search for cloud images using natural language from the start menu. So basically semantic indexing is just adding AI for search on Windows. The search that you already know on Windows will continue to exist. However, on Copala Plus PCs, now we have AI to help with search. So just to give you an example, if we open the search right here and we look for bear and then we scroll down, we can see that under photos, we can find that image which I created with AI some time ago, and that actually is a store on OneDrive. And the image doesn't have any metadata or anything on the title that, that indicates that this image is a bear. So AI is looking into the image and understanding the content, and then it supplies the result. Right now, semantic indexing for search in the start menu works for cloud images, but also works for files, as long as you type the exact keyword that appears inside of a file and that will actually show up in the search results. As I said before, semantic indexing is only available for Copilot Plus PCs and at this moment it's only available for those devices using Snapdragon processors but Copilot Plus PCs using Intel AMD will have this feature in the coming weeks. Now let's look at the changes for Windows Recall. So Microsoft have been adding several improvements to Windows Recall, more specifically to the interface with new visual changes. And one of the interesting updates in this release is that now the uh, click to do inside of Windows Recall now includes an option to summarize content using bullet points. And my particular release of Windows, I only have the copy and open with options. However, you can look at this screenshot that shows you how the uh, summarize submenu looks. And we can see now that we have a new entry for bullet points. And this is how a summarization using bullet points looks. Now on the uh, settings app, Microsoft is updating the HDR settings page. Let me just look for that page, which is this one right here. And basically what's new on this page is this option and we had seen this option in the canary channel but now it's being added to the bills and the dev and beta channels also the display capabilities section has been updated to show the capabilities of the display more clearly and finally if we go to control panel microsoft have been trying to get rid of the legacy troubleshooters for some time now the remainder troubleshooters that you can find in control panel will point to the settings app. So for example, if we click right here, that will open the troubleshoot page on the settings app. And that's it. Those are pretty much the most significant changes that we're going to find on Windows 11 build 26120.3291 for the dev and beta channel for version 24H2. For other fixes and improvements, make sure to check the link in the video description. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.